Welcome to Cooking with Gerald. On today's episode, I'll be making Philly cheesesteak triangles, a great snack for your next Super Bowl party on this next episode of Cooking with Gerald. And to get started, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut my meat up. Onions, uh, bell peppers that uh, red, yellow, and green. Some provolone cheese, of course, the egg wrap, egg the egg roll wrappers, uh, as well as some other spices and Worcestershire sauce. So let me go get started by cutting up my onion. And this is a Vidalia onion, so sweet onion. These are the only onions that I use. I very seldomly will use a um, a regular yellow onion, red onion. Well, actually, yellow onion. I don't use anything other than the Vidalia or else the yellow onion, unless I'm doing some type of salad or something. I may use a red onion. For the steak, I'm actually going to be cutting against the grain. You always want to cut against the grain because as you can see right here, see I'm pulling it apart. That's what makes it tender. If you cut with the grain, that's what makes the, uh, the meat tough. So I'm going to slice this extra super thin. And this is like um, a medium well. It's not well, but it's not medium. Just a little bit of pink in there. The best way to eat a steak is definitely on the grill. Definitely on the grill. And you see how I'm able to pull that apart? That means it's tender. It just pulls apart. Meet you at the stove. All right, guys. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and add my onions to my skillet. I have about a couple tablespoons of um, canola oil in here. You can use butter. You can use olive oil. You can use whatever type of fat that you want. I'm going to go ahead and get these started and cook them for the translucent.
right, so these look pretty good. Nice and translucent. I'm going to go ahead and add my bell peppers. Take my onions out. These bell peppers have been frozen. That's why you hear that sizzle. So I'm gonna let them cook by themselves so they can release all their moisture. Alright, so I'm gonna let these cook for about five to seven minutes and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back. And these are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these over with the onions. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. I'm going to add a little oil. All Turn the stove down. Alright. So like I said before, this is just to heat the meat up. I don't really want to cook it, so I'm actually going to turn my stove off. Because with this cast iron skillet, it's a good, good conductor of heat. So even after I turn the heat off, it's still going to uh, cook. So I'm going to go ahead and season it. This is some all purpose seasoning. You can season it with whatever you want. This has. Um, what does it have in here? Garlic powder, onion powder, complete seasoning, and some other things in here. And some pepper. So I'm adding a little bit of that. And I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. About a tablespoon of that. Actually, my sister didn't add it all, because there's no more in there. And that's gonna give the steak that briny taste. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetables back in here. Get them all combined. And you can actually make your Philly steak subs just like this. Just get your bread and put your provolone cheese on there and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna actually add two different types of cheese, provolone cheese, and I'm gonna add a little Monterey Jack cheese. So I'll put the provolone cheese inside when I'm putting together the wraps. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the bowl. So it will stop cooking. These are good appetizers or good snacks. Um, I usually will make these. Um, what else do I make? These. These stuffed jalapeno peppers with like bacon cream cheese. 
all that in there. Um, also, crab ragoons, homemade tater tots. I'll make all those up like I'm doing this right now, and I'll put them in a free. I actually freeze them and then put them in a freezer bag so that whenever I want something to snack on, I can actually go and get it out of my freezer instead of going to the store and buying it. And trust me, the ones that you make from my home taste a lot better than the ones you buy in the store. So I'm going to go ahead and let this mixture cool off. And I'll be back with the wraps. All right, guys. So it is the next day. And I am back. I have my Philly cheesesteak mix. I have my provolone cheese. I actually buy the provolone slices. Like that. But I took them and um, shredded them up in little pieces like that. And the reason I did that is because I thought I had some egg roll wraps. And I did not. For some reason, I don't know why I put the container in the freezer and it had one of which I guess kind of broke up. So I'm actually going to be doing wontons. So it'll be like little crab ragoons, but these will be steak and cheese ragoons or mini egg rolls rather. So. I have a couple that I've already done to show you as an example. Also did one like this too, like a crab ragoon, but. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw some cheese down. And with these, you cannot fill them up, up too big or put too much fill in there, otherwise they won't close. So I try to get the bell pepper onions and some meat in there. And then keep in mind also that I added meat and, uh, excuse me, some Monterey Jack cheese inside the mixture. And the reason I did that is so that everything would kind of bind together. So hopefully this is not too much. I have my brush. I'm going to brush the edges with some water so that they will seal. The side seal. And this one. So you just pinch the edges together like this. And it's sealed. Then normally what I do is I'll sprinkle some cornstarch on them to help dry them out and put them in the freezer. So let me go ahead and finish all these up and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm done. These are finished cooking in the air fryer. Obviously, they're going to look different cooked in the air fryer than they would if they were cooked in a regular um, deep fryer. This is a little sauce I made. It's... Um, Miracle Whip, Heinz 57 sauce, and a little sweet chili sauce. Look at that in the fire. Very good. Very, very good. Until next time, guys. God bless and stay safe. All right, guys. So if you want to see more videos like this, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell in the top right hand corner of the screen so you're notified each time i do upload a new video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up share it with other people and leave me some comments and let me know what you thought or how you actually make your uh, philly cheesesteak egg rolls Thank you.